80. Bridge, 8 left cut, long. 60. 8 right, long. Yeah, you know, actually I think feeling quite well, surprisingly well I'd say, given the, the severity of the crash. Certainly the highest speed, one of the most violent crashes of, of my career for sure. Um, so the fact that we're up and about, certainly grateful for that. Um, grateful to Citroen Racing for building quite the strong car. Um, and yeah, so uh, surprising that we're actually feeling, feeling quite good today. Yeah, feeling much better actually. Um, my body doesn't really feel so sore anymore. Um, so just had a few hits to the head, especially towards the end. So maybe still a bit of a sore head there. But, you know, for the most part, actually feeling all right. It was a long and violent accident. So lucky to actually I don't don't really have a scratch on me, to be honest. Yeah. So the through the G, I'll look into the camera so you guys see a little bit. Because of the G of the roll, is it the, just the pressure build up to the head? Is it just ruptured a lot of those, those blood vessels? So, you know, we've both been to the eye doctor. The eyes are fine. There's a little bit of bleeding back in the retina as well, but he said that that's normal. Uh, and yeah, my vision is totally fine. So, um, no big worries there. And yeah, I've just got a, a sprained wrist from when, you know, through the G of the roll as well. My hand came up and hit the roof. And then my fingers actually got squished in between my helmet and the cage on one of the heavier hits near the end. You know, like Alex said, is that we were rolling incredibly fast. And then as the car started slowing down, that's when we actually had some harder individual hits at the very end. So it had started raining on that stage, which was nice because on one hand there, there wasn't any more dust. Because uh, the corner where we crashed, actually I'd slowed down too much because on the first pass there was a ton of dust there. So coming into the corner the second time, I said, okay, I want to roll just a tiny bit more. And um, you know, we still haven't seen on the data if it was just way too much speed or just a few K too much speed, or if it was just the conditions that it was a bit more slippery and polished, um, you know, being the second pass, we had sort of gotten down to that really hard base. And so, yeah, I don't know if also if maybe I just missed the turn in a little bit, but for sure got into the middle of the corner and, and not nearly the amount of grip that I had expected to have. Um, so we were sideways on the exit, dipped a wheel into the ditch on the outside, and the car was coming back on. And so I thought we had pretty much handled this, but then we, we hit something in the berm or hit the outside a, a bit more. And yeah, with that speed, I think we were doing 135K or something like that. It just kicked the car straight sort of up onto the nose and onto the side, and that's what started the roll. And then at that point, it was just like this, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening again. And as that thought was finishing, that's when we just started rolling faster and faster, and then I knew, oh my God, this is going to be a, this is going to be quite the ride. Sometimes you just don't realize how fast you're going, so I didn't. It didn't start rolling so quickly, so I wasn't so concerned. And then, yeah, once I started going over, I think I got the the death grip on the pace notes. And then once I saw it tumbling really fast and saw my arm starting to go out the window, just yanked him back in and tried to huddle up as much as I could. There wasn't a whole lot of thinking going on. Just like, holy smokes, this is super intense and way bigger crash than I expected us to, to have. So since this is the first time having that kind of crash, I didn't have the sort of body awareness knowledge to pull my hands in. And that's actually how I crushed this hand a little bit. But after I, that hit, then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is bad news. I need to pull my hands down. So then for the last few big hits, I, I pulled my hands down more after the crash. That's when the car came to a stop and my vision actually went black for 15, 20 seconds was able to talk with Alex as we you know, were going through that process. He got out of the car to make sure to warn the next cars down the road. And then as my vision came back, then that's when I just very calmly hit the SAS tracker, called the, the SOS, called for the medical support because my hand was hurting quite bad then. And I knew that we had both had big hits to the head. So uh, in the aftermath, I think I was able to stay relatively calm and then slowly get out of the car myself, take the helmet off. Um, but yeah, during the crash, there wasn't a whole lot of thinking going on, just hanging on. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So for sure, the, the spirit says, hey, let's, let's get back out there immediately, is that um, I already can't wait to get back in the rally car. And uh, for sure, we're going we're gonna to take a short break. So we, we're dropping Ypres from the, the calendar to make sure that we have time to really properly recover. Um, you know, for me, is that I feel some slight concussion symptoms, nothing, nothing big. But you know, I did have a bigger concussion in the crash at Sardinia last year. So um, this is now two maybe moderate to not, not very strong concussions in a year, but so I'm going to want to get some professional advice and guidance on that. Um, that would be the only thing to push us beyond Acropolis, which is the current plan to come back. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see there, but certainly I, I have every intention and desire to be in the car at Acropolis for sure.